to Brandon. Reminder questions for Isaiah, just raise your digital hand, we'll call on you. We'll start things off with Rich. Hello, Isaiah. Uh, we've noticed that you have a lot of solo tackles and you're doing a great job there, but just talk about your role in the pass rush. You're uh, top, or tied for second in the team in, in sacks. Just talk about that that part of your job. Um, You know, the coaching staff, uh, when they came in, they told me that they, you know, liked the way I could rush the passer a little bit, and they said they want to get me involved in that. And it's something that I always enjoy doing, so um, kind of implemented that into the defense, you know. And we kind of just been sending a lot of pressures, and I've been a part of them. It's it's been fun, honestly. Is that like the most rewarding play for a defensive player to to put the quarterback down in the backfield? I would say so. It's definitely one of them, for sure. We'll go next to Julian. So I had um two questions. The first one, this was, uh, Andy mentioned this one. I thought it was uh, on time, right? Like tomorrow's election day, clearly you guys have uh, sort of had a, an awareness of what's going on and, and a focus on uh, getting guys involved and active and registered. Um, for you, what, what's the importance of being able to take that day and and, and go out and fill your civic do? Um, that's definitely important. You know, everyone has a voice and everyone has the right to vote and you definitely should be able to you know, go out and, um, you know, have your opinion and be able to, you know, um, just, you know, this is, this is a big, really big election and everyone has a lot of opinions of what's going on and, and especially with, um, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement and everything. I feel like that's really big and everyone, you know, should definitely voice their opinions and uh, try to make a difference. And as a separate question, as a separate question, completely separate, I was just curious, right? Um, Clemson game is obviously a big one. It's on national TV. You guys put the scare of the season into them, so on and so forth, right? And I was talking to Jeff about what that can do for recruiting. You committed, what, like May 2016, something like that? Yes. Yeah. So, like, for you, what was the game that you saw that was like, oh, I should probably come here? Was there a game that was like that? Because if I recall right, 2015 was, was a rough one around these parts, but I was wondering what the game would have been. It was kind of just, you know, believing in the process um, that made me come here. You know, they kind of sold me on the school and sold me on, you know, the football program and, you know, the plans that they had for me and the plans that I had for myself coming here with the academics and, the, you know, ACC football. Um, I feel like that's just really big. And, you know, not a lot of schools have both. But uh, when looking at it, you know, BC has both of those. And I feel like that played a really big factor into me coming here. Next to the band. The, um, Syracuse, I know, uh, plays that go fast style and, and goes uh, up tempo warp speed. Uh, what are some of the challenges on the field that you're going to face uh, against an offense that you know if they start pushing and they start getting steam going, they're gonna they're gonna push? Yeah, definitely. I'll say just you know getting your cleats in the ground, um, you know, rely like settling down and you know being. Um, uh, you know, just sticking to the game plan and being able to, you know, make your reads and not getting caught up in the tempo and uh, fast of fastness of the offense. I would say, um, you know, they do go really fast at points, but, you know, you got to get lined up and, you know, make your reads and um, and just, you know, it's, it's, I'm just going to say, like, it's difficult sometimes when, uh, you know, Syracuse makes um, difficult uh reads and difficult passing concepts, but you know, you just got to stay in there and make the right decisions. We'll go next to Matt. Hi, Isaiah. How have you guys balanced, I guess, you've gotten a lot of national praise for, for almost winning, and I, I don't think that's any consolation for, for anyone in that building, but how do you kind of balance the positives of what you were able to build on yourselves in a game like that, showing that you can go wire to wire with the number one team in the country, and how do you kind of Fester that chip on the shoulder when everyone outside the building's trying to pat you on the back for trying hard, so to speak. For sure. Um, you know, it proves that we're, you know, we're a tough knit team and, you know, we come to play every game and, you know, we work hard every week and we can play with anyone in the country and we truly believe that. And I think that we prove, <clears throat> excuse me, we prove that and that we're going to um, build off of what we have. 
<clears throat> Isaiah, I think that looks like that's all our questions for today. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And we will have Brandon Barlow here uh, right now for you guys.